Welcome to our guide on understanding Telstra pit symbols. If you've ever wondered what those symbols are on the Telstra before you dig plans mean, you're in the right place. Let's start with the pit symbols on the Telstra before you dig plans. Telstra pits are small access points used to house telecommunication infrastructure such as cables and joint equipment. They are often found in footpaths and road verges but they can also be found on private property. Telstra pits are represented by a circle with a number or letter inside, where Telstra manholes or footway chambers are represented by rectangles separated by a black and white diagonal section. For Telstra pits, the numbers and letters indicate the size and the classification of the pit lid or the pit itself. Smaller Telstra pits will have letters inside the circles on the plan, usually consisting of A, B, C and D, these lids are quite small and practically phased out now. You may still see them around in some areas of inner western suburbs of Sydney, although due to the small conduit sizes and them being galvanised iron conduits, a lot of these pits have been upgraded since then. Now, just because I say this, it doesn't mean you should not treat these cables as live. You should respect all underground assets you come across and seek further information if you are uncertain of what you've come across. Okay, the regular size pits that you might come across out in the street, which are more common, are the concrete and plastic composite lids, which range on the dial before you dig plan with numbers of one to nine inside a circle. The pits found on the biter plans with just one concrete lid or composite lid will have a number ranging from one to five inside the circle. If you're walking through your job site and see a five pit on the plan, you're going to be looking for a rectangle lid with the dimensions of around about 650 by 400. The pits found on the plan with numbers ranging from 6 to 9 will be a concrete or plastic composite lid and they might have a range of 2 to 3 lids. So a 6 pit will have 2 lids and a 9 pit will have 3 lids. It will generally be a combination of 6 pit sized lids in a straight line arrangement of 2 or 3 in a row. Next, we have the manhole symbol. Manholes are large access points used to house underground infrastructure, such as fiber optic cables and main copper cables, conduit bank openings and joints. They are usually found on corners of intersections and strategically placed in the footpath along private and commercial areas where major and mains cables lie. The Telstra manholes are used for maintenance and repair purposes and also to haul fiber and Telstra communication cables. Both pits and manholes play a crucial role in the Telstra telecommunication network, allowing technicians to access and maintain infrastructure that powers the communication services. It's important to note that pit and manhole symbols can vary in size, shape, depending on the specific Telstra network and location. Familiarizing yourself with these symbols can help to identify and understand the type of infrastructure that they represent and whether or not cables and conduits, duct runs, bypass into sections and certain areas along your proposed excavation area. When encountering pits and manholes, it's essential to prioritize safety. Never attempt to open or tamper with them unless you are trained, Telstra accredited plant locator, a Telstra contractor, or are a before you dig certified locating professional. If you notice any damage or issues, report them to Telstra right away and always follow the safety protocols when working near them. You can find the website to report the damage. In summary, understanding Telstra symbols, including pits and manhole symbols, can help you identify and understand Telstra communications in your area. If you need any help at all, understanding how to read the Telstra plans, get in touch with the team at Geoscope and we'll do our best to guide you through the process. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have got any value out of watching what we've shown you today, please remember to like and subscribe. It really goes a long way in helping our videos reach the people who need it the most. Thanks for watching.